In this video, I'm going to share with you a quads money play that is literally, I, I think it's just basically unstoppable. It, it, it's unstoppable. It's, it's really one of my favorite plays. And there's two ways that you can run this. Um, and again, we really love to build around the Z spot play from the Bunch Hat Back Strong. This is in the Bucks playbook, the Z spot. And this is something that you need either Slot Apprentice or Hot Route Master to use. But let me tell you, it's going to be worth it. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball. And if you're excited about Madden 22, my commitment to you guys here on YouTube is that I will be posting tip videos every single day for Madden 22. For the most part, we didn't miss a day in Madden 21, and we're definitely not going to miss any days in Madden 22. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the content. we got a lot of really good stuff planned. Um, and real quick, little quick promo offer for Madden 22 is my true fan membership. For those of you that don't know, it's five bucks a month. And what it is, is it's basically a place where I really dive deep into the game uh, around just kind of a, it gives me the audience, kind of an intimate, more intimate audience, lesser people to be able to really dive deep into some concepts. And so every week, those guys get an offensive and defensive meta update that really breaks down what the best of the best of the community are doing. And then we also do pro player scheme uh, film studies where we actually go into film and show you exactly what they're doing, why they're doing it, and what they're uh, using it for uh, as far as their plays either on offense or defense. So if you want to get access to that, it's five bucks a month. And for those of you that sign up before August 12th, I'm going to be giving uh, my first offensive and defensive ebook out for free to my true fan members. So if you're a true fan member, you'll get my first offensive and defensive ebook for free. That's a $30 value, and you're going to get that just for five bucks a month. And again, you can cancel it whenever you want. So five bucks a month, great resource for the Madden 22 season. Now let's talk about this concept. So this is a really, really good play from quads for a couple reasons. Um, the first one is that most of the time when you run quad, or not most of the time, all the time when you run quads, match coverage does not work. So because match coverage does not work, you don't have to worry about your corner routes ever really getting stopped. It's really one of the true forces, I think, of quads is corner routes from quads are so deadly and so difficult to stop. So because of that, what you're going to see here is I'm actually going to create a, a little bit of a different a variation of the same concept. We're going to put circle on the corner route. That's what we need the slot apprentice for. And then from there, we're going to put R1 on a streak. We're going to put, and then we're going to put the square receiver on a smart routed uh, Z spot post. And then you can kind of do one of two ways. The first way that I'm going to show this is I'm actually just going to take the running back and put him on a curl. And the reason I like this is because this really forces their defense to be very sound to the quad side, and they're not going to be able to stop everything we're going to be able to do. So what we're going to do is at the snap of the book, we're going to motion Brown to the outside. And just before he sets his feet, we're going to snap the ball right there. And he's our first read and our most consistent read. Against cover three zone, it's open every single time. Against cover three zone is open every single time um, for, this, for this zone. Now, a little pro tip on this is I actually like to make this look a little bit similar to my vertical setup. And for those of you that don't know verticals, real quick, little pro tip while we're here is if you motion this guy out, you see I can't snap the ball right there in motion. But if I motion him back in and then I quickly motion him back out, you'll see that I can snap it in motion just like that. And now I'm able to run the verticals play that we all know and love for years in Madden. So what I like to do with this is basically do the same thing um, because I want it to look like verticals and I want them to think and be be scared to call cover two because cover two is the only coverage in the game that's even going to have a prayer at stopping this. Um, so as you'll see here, again, just motion them in, motion them, uh, or motion them out, motion them in, and then motion them back out. And you'll see it'll serve exactly the same purpose. You get this really glitchy motion snap. And as you see, we're beating cover three every single time. Now, the first way that people would attack or would defend this in the past is they would just go to match coverage. So I want to show you uh, what this quad set does to match coverage. It's really one of the real true beauties uh, of this formation. And one of the reasons why I think this is one of the most slept on money formations in the entire game. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to go to cover four uh, quarters. I'm going to set the same route combination up just like this. Um, and then I'm going to motion them in. I'm going to motion them out or motion them out, motion them in, and then motion them back out and snap the ball. What you're going to see is that outside quarter doesn't play it. It plays it like a cover three. If I, and I just want to show just because I just want to really drive this point home. 
If I move the running back over to the left side and I run the same concept, watch the, watch the circle receiver. You'll see that he'll get matched and he gets taken away completely. Gun bunch versus gun bunch halfback strong. Okay, but the beauty of halfback strong is you can motion the receiver outside and really create a, a very special uh, spacing uh, window. So you'll see here again, and I can do, uh, whoops, let me get this set up properly. There we go. Motion back out, cover forward. Now you see no match coverage, and you see an absolute laser. So the only defense that they can really call that's going to defend this is Tampa 2. And I want to show you what that looks like real quick. Um, now it's actually, we're going to go over Tampa 2 zone drops in just a second. But if they run a traditional Tampa 2, you should have a little bit of an opportunity to be able to hit it. So again, just getting outside leverage and watch this corner route, just pass lead it up. And you see there the cloud does a good job of defending it. Okay. Um, so... Now what we do is we go to our verticals. So that's why we go vertical. So uh, with verticals, I just streak the R1 receiver. And honestly, that's all I do. Um, if you wanted to, you could put the running back on an option route. It doesn't really matter to me. But now you'll see if they're in cover two, watch the circle receiver, pass lead that to the right side, and you're beating cover two at the top. So that's the cat and mouse game. Uh, that's really the cat and mouse game that you're going to get into from this is you're either running verticals that's going to kill cover two, or you're not, and you're going to kill every other coverage that they have on their field. So let's go back to zone drops for just a second, and I want to show you two other concepts within this play that is really important to understand. So I'm going to come back out in the cover three Mabel um, coverage. And real quick, if you take a look at this formation, um, you'll notice you got <coughs> excuse me, um, you have a couple other plays. Uh, this PA bunch shot play, which we'll be going over in a little while. Um, you also have Z spot, wide trail, sluggo seam is a good play as well. But really, verticals is your number one play against cover two. So, anyways, back to Z spot. So, once this happens, what you're going to start to see is once the more you the more you hit them on that side, I want to show you uh, cover two as a zone drop. So, if they zone drop their cover two, it's something that I think is going to become. Um, fairly popular so you see coverage looks just like this they're going to go to a zone drop version of cover two because they want to still be able to stop z spot um, the traditional way with the uh, r1 on the corner and so because they want to do that you're going to see that this motion corner against specifically those 30 yard cloud flats watch what happens here you'll see this corner route um, is actually going to get underneath it on that sideline and you can hit it as long as he makes the catch you can hit this so let me show you this again cover two and then I'm just going to show you the cloud flat zone. There's really no need to show you the other other zones on the play because they're not going to have a chance at guarding anyway. But let's say they're in Tampa two and they're and they're um, zone dropping. Watch just down and away, wide open dot. As long as Brady can make the throw, it's there. So what you get into is really this cat and mouse game because what they basically have to do to stop this is they have to put their cloud flats. Um, they have to put their cloud flats on default. That's not going to be a successful strategy for them, I promise you, because verticals becomes wide open. Z spot, the first way we like to run it, becomes wide open. Um, and so it's not a great strategy, but you see here, just motion out the corner, pass leading to the right, click on, make the catch. Okay. So while all that action over on that right side is going on, we have the best route in the game to the back side. And... Um, you're going to see, I mean, I'm just telling you right off the rip here, you're going to see, and if you run this play a lot, that this square receiver is the most important route in Madden, uh, in Madden, I guarantee you, because of what it does to, to really every coverage in the game. And when you put that curl out there, you're going to see that it's going to really hold that backside zone down. So I can just aggressive catch it every time you want to be aggressive catching that route. Um, and I want to give you one other version of which you can run this play. Um, this is a it's a little bit better uh, for zone coverage. Um, it's a little bit better for man coverage as well. But I think it's I find it to be um, a little bit more difficult of a progression. But it's really good um, for the Z spot route, and it's going to make the Z spot route open a little bit earlier in the play. So basically, it's this right here. Instead of the flat and the curl, we're going to do a drag to the X. An option route to the triangle receiver so it looks like this 
smart route to square to make that go a little shallower. And now you have the same concept, but what you have is you have this X drag route that is so hard to guard, um, and you can't guard both the drag and the post. So typically what you're gonna get uh, pretty much every single time is if their user goes to the drag, then your uh, post route to the solo receiver is gonna be wide open. So he goes to the drag, post route's wide open, aggressive catch it, you can do dive catch animation every time. Okay, if the user goes to the, um, if the user decides that he's gonna guard the post, then your drag's gonna be open. This is not even, even talking about how everything else is still open on the right side and the fact that your corner route on the right is gonna be wide open. But now watch this drag. He goes with him, the drag gets open, you get up field for a couple yards, okay? So you have a one-two punch. Um, one other little tip, and I don't like this as much. Um, this is another way that you can run this. It's not exactly the best way, but it's something that I have tried before. And what it is, is basically if we want to have another in route. So if we want to put our uh, R1 receiver on an in, we can take the running back and actually put him on a wheel. And what this will do is you'll still get the pull of that outside third because if it's a quad set, you're still going to be able to hit your corner. The only thing is, the only thing about that is you're not going to have, um, you'll see the spacing's not exactly, it's, it's a little bit too easy to use her in my opinion. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So uh, if I go, I'm going to show you just the, just the R1 receiver. So you'll see right here, the R1, if you just watch, you see, see how they can kind of use her both. I mean, if they don't, if, but, but what it does, it really does hold their user underneath uh, in, in a very significant way, uh, in my opinion. It really will hold their user down. Um, you'll see their user won't be able to come back. Um, you can also um, you can also put the running back on an in route, but I just find the spacing doesn't it just doesn't work that well. Um, the best way that I've found to do this is to actually use the original Z spot corner route, just like this. And then all we're going to do is we're going to wheel the running back. I've found this to be the most successful. Um, which I've already talked about this, but you'll see here that if they're in that cover three, the wheel route does a good job of pulling that uh, corner to be vertical, and it allows the corner route to still be able to be thrown. So the Z spot's so good. There's so many ways you can run this play, and this is just one of the many, uh, in my opinion, the, the, the best way to run it. The two best ways to run it is the, the one I just showed you with the corner route, and the two. this right here is such a good way to run it. And the reason why is because from quads, you're going to find that that corner route is still open against everything. Um, the wheel route really does a good job of taking the zones, and it, it, it still opens the corner route. The other way that I really like to run it, though, is the way that I showed you in the beginning of this video, uh, which is to basically take a hot route master guy, put him on a, a corner, and then you can basically do this. This setup right here is so effective um, because it really does pull their user uh, and it looks exactly the same. That's what's really cool about this formation is you can create a lot of concepts that look exactly identical, but they go in different directions. Um, and they really require very specific different zones to stop it. And then if they start to run a lot of Tampa 2 on you, um, you can see here, as we talked about in this video, the power of this corner route, this, this, um, this setup that I was giving you first, the power of that corner route is that corner route um, does such a good job at getting underneath a deep zone dropped cloud. But if they run a regular cloud, the verticals play gets way over the top of that. So it's kind of a you know lose-lose situation for the defense, which is why I love this formation. So thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this quads breakdowns, um, just something different. And I think this formation is really underrated. Not very many people use it, and it's really, really good. So thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to sign up for the True Fan membership, there's a link in the description. And if you sign up before August 12th, um, it's just five bucks a month, and you're going to get my first offensive and defensive guide in Madden 22 completely for free on the True Fan membership. So the link is in the description for you to be able to sign up for that.